Oh my god, what a stressful day! Ah, uh, so I had to schedule this appointment like months in advance, so it wasn't really an option to change it. And then um, I ended up having to move on this day as well. So like, I tried to have everything moved this morning. Um, hello. hello. Hi. Hi I'm recording my visit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> come on in. Okay, come on. I always yeah, record yeah, my. I'll look my... for something for you. I'll go to the kitchen. Thank you. Hey. Hi. What's Are you your... okay? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Liss Rita. Dr. Um, Liss Rita? Uh, my last name's Liss. Well, oh. You can call me Rita. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rita. Got it. I'm working with Dr. Gladstein today. Is it cool. okay if I come see how you've been doing yeah. before he comes? Um, I just, I have like, I do HIV advocacy. Okay. So I post all my visits on YouTube and then everybody can see like how okay. like oh, normal it is. And Got you. Yeah. I've never so been on nice. YouTube. Well, cool. <laughs> now you will. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. So I'm going to open up your chart so I can take some notes while you're talking. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Not ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Oh, yay. I haven't eaten that all day. Oh my gosh. Figure if I'm getting my well, blood drawn. We are getting some labs. Or you want me to wait till after? Uh, it looks like actually that we don't, uh, we don't check any of the lipid labs. Glucose. So anyway, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're fine. Yeah, good. Perfect. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to ask a bunch of background questions just to make sure we haven't missed anything, okay? Sure. Any fevers, chills, uh -uh. sore throat, cough, mm -hmm. weight loss, night sweats, no. uh, chest pain, difficulty breathing, mm -hmm. nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, mm -hmm. no? Abdominal pain. I'm gas, but I've always been gassy. <laughs> um, any rashes or lesions anywhere? No. Uh, burning, burning. I mean, I do get. I mean, I've had this ever since I was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it's like a kind of. I don't know if it's psoriasis or what, but oh. I'll get like. I I don't have it now, but I'll get flare-ups where it's like bubbly, blistery around the edges of my and on my feet, especially around the outside. Huh. How often does that happen? Maybe once every few weeks mm -hmm. to a month or so. Are they itchy or painful? No. Okay. They might be a little tender, but that's it. They just go away on their own? Yeah. Okay. And I notice sometimes it's after I've had like either a lot of stress or a physical stress, like something, some sort of pain on my body or something. Like if I get a wound or get hurt or something, mm -hmm. I feel like that sometimes causes it to flare up, but I don't know. That could be coincidence. Okay. And it just goes away on its own? Yeah. He's given me um, cream to put on it okay. to help. But, uh, okay. Alrighty. And that helped in the past? The cream did? Or not that you I don't know if I really noticed a difference. Okay. Well, I'm glad you don't have anything right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, next time if you have it again and it's really bothersome or not going away, uh, definitely let us know. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and then any uh, burning with urination, blood in your urine, mm -hmm. blood in your poop? Are you sexually active? Um, yes, I haven't been for a few months, but yes. Okay. Yeah, I just moved, so I'm like, I feel disgusting right now. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Moving is really difficult. Yeah. It always takes like a lot longer. And I got locked out of my unit too, with all my stuff in the hallway. Oh, it's a rough first day. Uh -huh. Okay, um, any questions that you have? Anything that we haven't talked about? Anything that... I was wondering, so my health insurance used to cover going to see a chiropractor who was also like a sports therapist, because mm -hmm. I, I had an accident and my knee like was kind of messed up, and he, I would go to him to, see, to work on that and then other stuff because mm -hmm. I body build, but uh, Blue Shield doesn't cover that anymore, chiropractic, mm -hmm. so I wanted to know if maybe there's a referral to a physical therapist that I can go to, or... I don't know if you guys specifically have to give a referral or if I can just go okay. or how that works. Alrighty, and this is for, you said you had a knee injury? Mm -hmm. When did you have that? Mm, I believe it was like a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. So typically we do have to give referrals for physical therapy mm -hmm. and usually when we give the referral mm -hmm. we have, um, just as a heads up, we mm -hmm. kind of describe what the problem is. Mm -hmm. So if we, um, we're going to say like right knee since that's where you are yeah. having issues. But yeah, that, I would be interested to look into that. Okay. Alrighty. How often does that pain come? Like, 
Um, it's been more frequently lately, like maybe a, a couple days a week. Anything that you put on it or try to do for the pain? I just, really I just massage it is the only thing that I do. Or stretch. Um, okie dokie. Anything that we missed? Any other questions, Rob? I don't know if this is something you um, know a lot about, but my CD4 counts. Uh-huh. Um, I talk to a lot of other people and their CD4s go like well above 800, well above 1,000. Mine peak, have peaked at like 8 and then like typically drop back down like 400, 500s average. Is that, does that usually just indicate a weaker immune system in general? Um, not necessarily. Uh, so the CD4 count, it depends on what the level was at when you started treatment for it. And so, because there's generally a, oh, really? like a max of how high it gets, or what it usually gets for most people. From the lowest point? From the lowest oh, point. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, so someone who whose CD4 count was higher when they first started treatment would therefore reach a higher oh, peak man. on treatment, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. So I guess depending on who you're Mine talking to. Mine was 169. So. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. So I think... Um, I think around the the average was uh, is like a three hundred rise, so it sounds like you're doing pretty good, or maybe yeah. like kind of float around yeah. that level. Um, but yeah, so depending on who you talk to, wow. they may have had different starting points, you know, from baseline. That's crazy. Really I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah, so that's why that would be. Um, yeah, but it sounds like you're you've been at a at a good level for a while. We're okay. gonna repeat all your labs and stuff today. Okay. Um, so that's good. Take a deep breath in and out. Alrighty. Can we check your sinuses and your lymph nodes and everything? Okay. Um, any sinus pain here, here? No. Alrighty. Didn't feel anything swollen. Let me check the ones under your armpit. Okay. okay. Yeah, I remember when, what that felt like. When you had swollen lymph nodes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Can we open them? Say ah. Uh. Alrighty. I'm like really bad with cameras. So <laughs> Can you just pretend I'm like it's not there? More, yeah, I'm a little bit more awkward than I normally am. So <laughs> sure. How do you pronounce your last name? Durazi. How about your first name? Uh, Raif. Raif. Yeah. Okay, that's a cool name. Thank you. It's Moroccan. Come in. Hi. Hello. He has a camera. Today. I'll let you do your thing. <laughs> Almost done. I'm just swapping. No, take your time. Okay. I'll be back. Right. So I guess you figured out we're teaching young smart dogs. Yeah. But only smart ones. I love it. Alrighty. Do you make other videos too? Are you yeah. a filmmaker? Like okay. fitness and oh, awesome. mostly like vlog style. Yeah. It's a really it's cool exciting. creative thing. My brother's yeah. really into um, film stuff too. And I'm always yeah. like super impressed by what he is it's able so to do. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and chat with Dr. Gladstein and mm -hmm. update him on everything that you've been telling me. Okay. Um, and then we'll get your labs ordered, okay? Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so as I was saying, um, yeah, the appointment and moving coincided on today. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I was like, well, if I'm going to, if I have to be done anyway in the morning for the doctor's appointment, and I'm scheduled to work at night. Well, I might as well just go to work because I'll be have been done moving. There's won't be anything more to do. And that was dumb. That was not the brightest idea to do all of that in one day. But you know, say la vie. And and my DMV appointment's at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning to handle my car salvage title. Oh, why? So, man. I've been scrambling all morning. I, I got I got locked out of my apartment while I was trying to move. All my stuff was in the hallway. It was such a nightmare. I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And I finally, <laughs> based on a neighbor's recommendation, was able to break into my own apartment using a credit card. So I'll definitely be dead bolting my apartment from now on. But I'm so glad that I was able to do that. And then I rushed back to my old apartment, picked up my camera, and then rushed here. I got here just in time for my appointment. And here we are. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was enlightening. Some of the stuff she said, I didn't know. And now you know too, so that's cool. And we'll see what my doctor says when he comes in. And, and I wanna do a follow-up of this round because now I've taken Big Tarvi since January 
and this will be my first lab work that I'm doing after having taken Big Tar V for that whole period and I'll be able to see the uh, direct impact on my my body and I'll be able to let you guys know how it was for me because I already told you in a previous uh, video that I don't have any symptoms no noticeable symptoms I fucking love Big Tar V it's great it's worked wonders for me and um, now I'll be able to see in a like blood panel specific internal type of way how Big Tar V has been with my body. And now we wait for uh, Gladstein, my awesome sauce doctor. And I will eat these in the meantime. So hungry. Oh. And I didn't feel like passing out after I give vials and vials of blood either. So that's cool. I got my own little table. Look at that. So cool. Fancy. I probably should. I don't know. Is that sanitary? I'm sore. I'm so sore. The mover was making fun of me because I was being such a baby moving stuff. Because I did legs yesterday. I know, I know. Not brilliant on my part. And I'm so sore, and my core is sore, and my back is sore, and my biceps are sore, and I was cramping, trying to move things, and I was just like, not doing well. <laughs> it's been a rough morning. Yeah. In the middle of something else, and we do teach young doctors. And That's like good. Said, you know, go for it. Throw her in. But I uh, feel very, very good about teaching young docs. Yeah, that's cool. Because now that you have, what is it, more space and stuff, you can do that? Got more space, we can do it, and it's important that they get exposed yeah. to parts of medical care that they don't otherwise see yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. So, you know, they learn about HIV, they learn about HIV prevention, they learn about STDs, they learn how to talk about sex, they learn about gay men's health. Because, mm -hmm. you know, my favorite topic here is rimming. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> Actually, joking aside, if you're going to take care of patients, you do have to learn how to talk about sex in a way that is... Not awkward? Not awkward. Because if the doctor's awkward talking about sex, yeah. people are not going to tell you what's going on. So your knee's bugging you. I mean, it always does. I Thank you for level. wearing shorts. Yeah, it wasn't planned. I just was moving this morning. So my knees scoot back a little teeny bit. Yeah. And point to the part that bugs you. Well, it's, it depends, like, a lot of times it's just a general burning, it feels like it's right here under the kneecap, Okay. sometimes it's on this side, sometimes it's like... So, relax your leg. I went... Any pain in here? No. Okay, that's good. Over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and kick your feet up, and then you have your leg back, yeah. and now bend your knee. Okay, good. Go ahead and sit up. Uh, what sort of things aggravate it? It's hard to say because a lot of times I feel the pain when I'm like in the driver's seat and my foot's just like in this position. Okay. All of a sudden it starts burning. Okay. Or if I'm sitting in a chair, it just starts burning. Does it limit you from doing it? And then anything? I, ha I like have to like put it straight. And if I can't, it just builds up more and more. Okay. Um, does that pain limit you or that burning sensation limit you from doing anything? Like exercise wise? Usually not exercise wise. Sometimes, yeah, and I have to go easy. But um, mostly it's just if I'm sitting in a confined space and I can't fully, it'll just get worse and worse and I kind of like... Okay. And you stand a lot at work, right? Yeah. Does it bother you when you're standing? Mm -mm. Do you do any running? No. Okay. Um, but walking doesn't seem to bother you? Uh, no. Can you pop off the uh, table for a second? Yeah. And take your foot and touch your butt. Yeah. Okay, now can you do it with the other leg? Yeah. Okay. Does one side feel tighter than the other? You're good. Um, when I went, when they actually worked on it, they said that this band out here is really, really tight. Yeah, it's and they tight on a lot of people. Poked a bunch of holes right here. Poked a bunch of holes? Mm -hmm. and oh, I acupuncture? No. Uh, I went in for a procedure and they, I think they injected it with PRP. Oh, I see. And then the actual yeah, band, PRP? the actual band 
there there was like a after I woke up, there was like maybe like twenty holes there, and they poked it in the band so that it would. Okay. When did you have PRP? A year and a half ago. Did that help? Yeah, that helped. Okay. But the, but it's worn off. PRP usually is gonna wear off like in a year or so. Yeah. So you were seeing a chiropractor. Was the chiropractor helping? Yeah. It was. Yeah. He's like a sports therapist as well. So he's okay. doing a lot of mobility stuff. So. Sports therapist, like physical therapist? Mm hmm. But your insurance changed and it no longer covers. Yeah, because he's technically a chiropractor. Got it. So you can't see him at all? No. You were great on TV, by the way. Thank you. A while ago. Yeah, Tried. It was really good. It was weird because she didn't tell me she was starting to film. She was like, What's your name? And, I, and then she started asking me questions. And I was like, Oh no, it started. Well, that's probably the best way to get you. <laughs> that's probably, yeah. Her intention. I can give you a prescription for physical therapy because that's all you need. Tight ligaments or patellofemoral syndrome can be painful, it can be annoying, but it's slowly treatable. Oh. And I'll recommend a few physical therapy places. Okay. And there you have it. So you're doing okay with Big Tarby? Yeah. So it's right. still, I think, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, the best HIV medication we have ever seen. Yeah. I think it'll continue to be the best we have available for about the next probably three to five years. Um, there will be new things coming out. There have been new things that have already come out. Yeah. Uh, there's a new thing. I don't know how much on top of this stuff you, you stay. Not that well. But there's a new thing called Devato, which is one pill once a day. Also very, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced that it has any advantages over okay. Victarvi. Yeah. But I think in three to five years we might have some things that you just inject into your skin yeah. as opposed to into your muscle. And skin injections are much, much less painful. Mm. And ideally it would be like one injection every three to six months. That to me yeah. is worth paying attention to, but yeah. I don't think we're gonna have anything earth shaking until then. Okay. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns for me? Not at the moment. Uh, get a flu shot in the fall when they're available. Mm -hmm. They're not available yet. Okay. okay. So let me get you a prescription for physical therapy. I'll give you the names of some physical therapy places to go. Okay. There you have it. Okay. Okay, get out. Oh. It's good to see you. You. you too. Okay. Be well. Okay, you too. I saw the video. You did? Yeah, I was. I showed it to my mom. <laughs> they, they got excited when you took off your shirt. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, next time we're gonna do my hair better. <laughs> Uh, looking off when they come over six months. Yeah, six months. Okay. Sorry, new new office. Yeah. More patient. More patient. Another doctor. Uh -huh. Pretty sexy. Thank you. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Are you enough? <laughs> Are you the only one doing this? That's a lot of people. Yeah? I, I've never seen another video of someone doing that. Oh, that's good. It's different. Yeah. Alrighty, so now I just need your end. Oh, yeah. And you're all done. Is he coming back? Uh, no. Something for it. That's it.